Open your mouth, just begin to speak in other tongues. Kabre kota vadisha, breka to malako breda gasonda basta, brega dola baka brega dose brega daya, lo breka tonga baranda savra diga haya, leba bakora badeka soja barata, brega dala bakonda zivra diga haya, loga braga deshka braga teka barata, loga baranda sata. Bregado la ki parata, bregados ke bregadala, bregalos ke bregadala hasta, bregado la baranda, zobre katoka barata, loga bragadega barata, loga brasta la manda soja barata, loga bragadega baranda sata, bregado la brasta la barondas, bregalos ka barata, loga bragadega bragadaga baska, bregadala bakosha ka bragadea. Loga braga daga barota, loga baranda soja barata, lega baranda sasta, brega doga barata, loga baranda saja labata, brega daga barata, loga barata ka barata, brega dala bakosha labahaya, loga baraga sata ka barata, loga baranda sasta, brega doga barata, loga barata, brega daga barata. Brega da gabarota, brega da gabarata, brega da gabarata, broga da gabaraka haya, brega da gabaroska, brega da gabaroska, brega da gabarasta, brega da gabarosta, brega da labakosa, brega la gadaska, brega da gabarata, loga braga de gabarata, loga braga da gabahaya. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. This is a time for you to always have your pen and paper with you. Each time, both when you are close to your bed or when you are sitting down, this is a time to do a lot of writings. And then this is also a time to do a lot of prayers. The children of Esaka being wise, they had understanding of times and seasons, the Bible said. And they knew what Israel ought to do per time. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor happy holidays. But remember that Satan is not on holidays. Oh, you didn't say it. Well, tell your neighbor happy holidays. But remember that Satan is not on holidays. I hope you know Satan is not on holidays. I hope you are aware. I hope you're also aware that God is not on holidays. You know, the Bible said, be vigilant, be sober, because your adversary, the devil, like a roaring lion, goes about seeking for whom to devour. The Bible said, be vigilant. That means be on the alert, because your adversary, the devil, like a roaring lion, goes about seeking for who to devour. Church, are you with me right now? He said, who resisted thou in your faith? 
there's need for you to maintain a constant prayer life and then there's need for you to also have a pen and paper Habakkuk said I will stand upon my watch and I will listen to what he would tell me and what I will answer when I'm reproved and then he said to me write the vision make it plain upon tables so that he may run that read it he said for the vision is yet for an appointed time he said finally he shall speak even though it tarries, you say, wait for it. I'm going to show you one scripture that I like us to use to pray. Matthew chapter number 26. Matthew chapter number 26. Matthew 26. Matthew 26. From verse number 31. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I've been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Verse number 33. Let's read together one to go. Peter answered and said unto him, What? Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet what happened? I will never be offended. Peter said to him, Even if other people would deny you, even if other people would forget you, even other people, even if other people would be offended because of you, he said, I will never be offended. Look at this. Verse number 34, read together one to go. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee that this night before the cock crows, thou shalt deny me. How many times? Three times. Jesus said to Peter, This particular night before the cock crows, you would deny me three times. Look at this. Verse number 35. Read together. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Go ahead. Then come Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here, while I go and pray yonder. He said to the rest of the disciples, like you to sit here while I go and pray yonder. The demand of the time is, a, is, a, is for us to pray. The demand of the time is for us to pray a little more. Tell your neighbor a little more. Is somebody following what I'm saying? This is not the time for us to think we have prayed enough, we have served God enough for the year, and so it is time for us to retire or for us to holiday. He said to them, he said, while you sit here, I will go further and I will pray a little and I'll go and pray yonder. Look at this. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and what? very heavy look at this then said he unto them my soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death tarry ye here and watch what with me verse number 39 and he went a little further and fell on his face and what prayed saying oh my father if it be possible let this cup pass from me nevertheless not as i will but as thou will. I'd like to bring your awareness to this. How will your life look like if every step you are taking is in accordance to the will of God? Are you with me right now? How will your life look like if every step that you are taking is in accordance to the will of God? According to the scripture in the book of Psalms, the Bible said that God already has a preordained steps for us. Are you following what I'm saying? He said, every of my days, they are written before you. My steps before I took them. 
And so I'm asking you a question. How will our lives look like if every step that we are going to take is going to be according to his will? Now, I know that for some reasons, because of the environment and the imperfection of the flesh, that, the, I mean, we may not have it 100%. But how is it going to look like if, I mean, a greater percentage of our steps is in accordance to the will of God? Jesus prayed that special prayer. He said, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, what happened? Not as I will, but what? As thou will. Look at this, verse number 40. Verse number 40. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them what? Asleep. And said unto Peter, what? What? Could you not watch with me? What? One hour. Look at this. Verse number 41, he said what? Watch and pray that you not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing. What happened? But the flesh is weak. I already mentioned it to you that the imperfection of the flesh is what truncates our willingness to walk according to the will of God. Are you with me right now? And then I said, imagine how it is going to look like if greater percentage of the steps you are taking, they are actually modeled after his will. Imagine what it will look like if we are meant to walk in the will of God, greater percentage of the steps that we take. More especially as we are entering into a new year, as we are entering into another season, I mean, making sure that the steps that we are taking, they are after the will of God. And Jesus explained to us exactly how to do it. And that will be the subject of our prayer tonight. The scripture said that it took prayers on the part of Jesus to be able to subdue the flesh and for the spirit to take over. Are you with me right now? So he talked about the spirit being willing, but the flesh being weak. And then in the place of prayer, he was able to condition the flesh to flow according to the spirit. So the Bible said he prayed and said, Father, if it was possible, let this cup pass over me. But the Bible said, nevertheless, he said, not my will, but yours be done. Look at Matthew chapter number 21. Let me show you this. Matthew chapter number 21. Matthew chapter number 21. Matthew 21. Verse number 28, look at the question Jesus asked them. Matthew 21. He said, but what do you think? A man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, son, go walk today, what? In my vineyard. What did the son reply? Read together, one to go. He answered and said, what? I will not, but what happened? But afterward, he regretted it and what? Went. Look at this. Verse number 30, read together. Then he came to the second and said likewise. And he answered and said what? I go, sir. But what happened? But he did not go. Verse number 31, read together. One to go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said to him, the first, Jesus said to them, As surely I say to you, that task collectors and harlots entered the kingdom of God before you. Jesus told them the story of two sons. The Bible said a man told his two sons. He went to the first one and said to him, Please, I'd like you to go and work for me today. The guy said to his father bluntly, I'm not going anywhere. Don't disturb me. But the Bible said after a while, he regretted and went. 
And then he went to the other, to the second one and told the, the second one, I'd like you to go to my farm to work. That one screamed, yes, sir, I go. But the scripture said that one eventually did not go. Jesus said, who among them did the will of the father? They said to Jesus, the one that said no first, but eventually he still went. They said, that's the one. And Jesus made a statement to them. I'd like you to say this with me. Say, Father, may I eventually do your will. Oh, come on, say like me. Say, Father, at all costs, let me do your will. Say it again. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, at all costs, let me do your will. Open your mouth and make it a prayer. Break all satire. Break a dosh cabranda sata. Break a dola barata. Jaga bragadea. Break a dola baconda sata. Break a dala baconda saja barota. Break a dala baconda sata. Break a dola barata cabaranda. Zebra gadola brata cabaranda. Break a dosh cabragadea. Loba baronda saca brata. Break a dala baconda sasta. Break a dala baconda saja laba. Rabada conda sabra te cahaya. Lebre. Bregadoshka, Bregadola Baranda, Soja Bahaya, Bregadola Baranda, at all cost, let me do your will finally. Bregadoshka, Bregadala Baronda, Zega Bragadoga Barata, Leba Bashaka Bragadea, Bregadoska, Bregadoshka Barata, Bregadoska, Bregadala Baconda, Zega Brata, Loga Barata, Bregadoshka Bragadea, Loga Baranda Soja Barata, Bregadala Bragadea, Bragadoska, Bregadala Braca Soja, Bregadala Baroska, Jaga Bragadea, Laga Bragadega, Loga Barata, Bregadaga Bragadea, Loga Barata, Bregadala Bacosha, Bregadala Bacosa, Bregadala Bacosha. Brega da laga braga dea, loga braga dega barata, loga braga dega barata, brega da la bacosha, brega da laga braga dea, loga braga sashata, brega da laga bocosha, brega da laga braga dea, loga braga dega barosta, loga braga dea, loga braga dega barata, loga braga dea, laga braga dea, loga braga dega barata, loga braga dea, loga braga dea. Lega braga doska, braga da laga baroska, braga da ga braga dea, laga braga dea, raga braga dega baroska, braga da la braga dea, loga barata, loga braga dega barata, braga da ga baroska, braga da ga barata, loga braga sata, braga da la ga baroska, braga da la bakosha, braga da la ga barata, loga braga sata, randa bokosha ta, raga braga dea. Laga bragadea, brega doska, raga bragadea, loga bragadea, raga bragadega baroska, brega dala bakoshata, raga bragadea, loga barata, loga bragadaga barata, loga bragadea, raga bragadea, loga bragadea, raga bragadega barata, loga bragadea, raga bragadega barata, loga bragadea, raga bragadea, raga bragadea, laga. Raga bragadea, raga daga bragadea, laga bragadea, raga baroska, raga bragadea, laga bragadega baroska, raga daga barata, loga bragadea, raga bragadea, raga daga bragadoska, raga bragadega, raga bragadea. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will fulfill destiny. I ask that the Spirit of God will help you to do the will of God. In the name of Jesus, may you take the right steps at the right time. At all costs, may you do his will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I'd like you to pay attention because there is a huge miracle in walking in the will of God. There is a huge miracle in walking in the will of God. 
The Bible said that this particular man went to his sons. The first son he went to, he said to him, he said, I'd like you to go to my farm to work. That one said to his father bluntly, I am not going. But the Bible said afterwards, somebody say afterwards. Touch yourself, say may I do his will finally. Listen, this is so important because some of the things in life, they are tied to the steps we take per time. Is somebody following what I'm saying? As much as success does not really mean absence of errors. But when you are talking about success, errors should have been minimized. Are you following what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it has been extinguished completely. But at least it has to be minimized. And taking the right steps, the right decisions, the right choices, the time is going to play a very vital role. Are you with me now? And that's why it is important that you understand the place of doing his will. Jesus raised Lazarus from dead. Jesus cleansed the woman with the issue of blood 12 years. Jesus performed lots of miracles, opened the blind eyes of blind Bartimaeus. Jesus performed all several miracles. But if he had not died before God, he would not have been a success. His ultimate destiny was to die. Church, are you with me right now? And guess what? That his ultimate destiny became the hardest. Taking the step to Calvary became the hardest. Taking that step to go to the cross became the hardest. The hardest. It wasn't hard him going to Jairus' house. To go and heal the, the daughter. It wasn't hard him going to the house of Lazarus to go raise Lazarus up. Are you with me right now? It wasn't hard him going to the house of the widow of Nen to raise his only son, her only son up. But going to the cross became the hardest. And that one that looked like the hardest was actually the fulfillment of his destiny. That one was actually Jesus' real manifestation. If Jesus had not died, me and you may not have had the power to use his name. The Bible said that he humbled himself down to the death on the cross. And so the step of going to die on the cross became the hardest. How to fulfill the will of God going to the cross became the hardest. So the Bible said at that point, what Jesus did was to bring the instrumentalities of prayer. Are you with me right now? The instrumentalist of prayer. He had to pray so that he would take the right step. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare that you will take the right step at the right time. Do you know at times that he got a contract was that he's in a place at a time? I hope you are aware that certain things happen is that somebody was able to take a particular step at a particular time. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you walk in accordance to his will. So the Bible said it was difficult. Jesus himself was going to find doing the will of God difficult. And so he engaged the power of prayer. And so, as we are coming into the end of the year and we are stepping into a new year, I want it to, top your, to, to be top in your priority to pray so that you will take more steps according to his will. As long as you are on earth, like I said, as long as you are still putting on flesh, I mean, there will be frailty, there will be some level of weaknesses, there are some things you are not going to do very well according to his will, but this prayer will increase your percentage. Are you with me right now? Your percentage to get it right. I hope you are aware that the student that made an A is not the student that passed all the exams. That student, it means that his error was minimized. Correct? Yeah. I mean, in, uh, out of 100, he only failed 20. That means he had minimized error. And so he made an A. 
But that one that made an F means out of 100, he failed 80. Meaning that he had more that he failed than the one he got. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you, may your errors be minimized. I ask that the Lord will make you take the right steps at the right time. So the Bible said, when the father told this first guy, he said, go. The guy said, no, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. But the Bible said, afterwards, he changed his mind. Now, the scripture did not tell us exactly what led to him changing his mind. But when you read Matthew chapter 26, you can actually see the instrumentality, the instruments that leads to us walking in the will of God. And that's the instrument of prayer. That's why Jesus himself gave himself to prayer. Listen, if it is going to be about resolution and choices without prayers, you're going to do a little. Is somebody following what I'm saying now, yeah? Oh, as the new year is going to come, I'm, want to, I'm making this choice, I'm making all of those choices. It must be subjected to prayer. Church, are you with me right now? There must be need for prayer to be given to that effect. So the scripture said, Jesus himself engaged the instrument of prayer. He prayed, Father, if it is possible, let, your, let this cup pass over me. He said, nevertheless, may your will and not mine be done. Lift your hands in your finances. Let it be according to the will of God. In your relationship according to his will. In your business according to his will. In your career according to his will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout the right steps at the right time. So this one, even when he did not want to, he said, finally, let me go. Oh, I'm supposed to fast. And then all of a sudden I'm saying, I'm feeling weak today. I don't feel I'm going to fast. However, you are being quickened to fast. Your prayer is, no matter how I try to stop it, may I fast finally. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, you are supposed to pray. I mean, you wake up in the middle of the night, you are supposed to pray. You are quickened to pray, and that is the will of God for your life. And at that point, you are feeling so tired. You feel there are other things you're going to do with that time. And you're, you have already resolved you're not going to pray. Your prayer today is, even when I have resolved I will not pray, may I finally pray? Church, are you with me right now? Let me eventually do the will of God. Let me eventually do the will of God. Because doing the will of God looks like the hardest. It looks like the hardest. However, the next phase of the plan of God for your life is in his will. Is somebody following what I'm saying? But it looks like the hardest. It looks like the hardest. It looks like the most difficult to do. That's what Jesus was saying. He said, Father, if it is possible. But the Bible said, nevertheless, he said, your will. But another person, oh, uh, 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 my son, I'd like you to go to the farm. The, farm. the guy said, oh, dad, I go, I go. Where is the farm? I'm going. And then finally, the scripture said, he did not go. <clears throat> Are you with me right now? He didn't. After he has screamed, I'm going, I'm going. But the Bible said, eventually he did not go. Why did he not go? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Through prayer, you subject the flesh. Is somebody following what I'm saying right now? As the year is coming to an end and you are preparing for a new year, you are finding out some things you didn't do right. Am I correct? Some things you would have wished have done better. Now, it is not just identifying them that will make you do them better next time. It is you engaging the instrumentalities of prayer. Somebody shouted, I go, but did not go. Somebody said, I am not going, but eventually went. Are you, are, are you following something right now? So then it's not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but what? Of God that showeth mercy. Somebody shouted, I will do it. And eventually he did not. Somebody said, I will not. And then eventually he did. What happened? 
the instrumentalities of prayer must be brought in for you to eventually do the will of God. Are you following what I'm saying right now? And your errors will be minimized if you are taking the steps according to the will of God. And once your errors are minimized, your chances to succeed, they are increasing. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you walk according to his will. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may your life be according to his will. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Tell him, let your will and not mine be done. Let me take the right steps at the right time, at the beat, at the right place, at the right time. Brosh ketanda bakonze barata. Lobre katoja bakataya. Ronda baka zobre gadaya. Randa boko shabra gadea. Lobaka sabra gadega baroshka. Brega doska, brega dola barata, loga brega doska, brega dala mando sobre gadaya, loga braga de gabarosta, brega dala gabraka doska, brega dola barata, le brega doska, brega dala baroska braga dea, brega dala baroska, brega dala baconda la sata, randa boko jata, randa baka sata, brega doska braga dea, laga braga. Bragadea, Bregadoska Bragadea, Raga Bragadea, Randa Boko Jaga Barata, Loga Bragadea, Raga Bragadega, Raga Baroska, Bregadala Bragadea, Loga Bragadega Barata, Bregadaga Baroska, Bregadala Bragadea, Randa Boko Shaka Bragadea, Laga Bragadea, Raga Bragadoska, Bregadala Bragadea, Raga Bragadoska, Raga Bragadea. Bragadega Barata, E Laga Bragadea, Loga Bragadea, Raga Bragadea, Bregadoska Barata, Raga Barata, Bregadoska Bragadea, Laga Bragadega Barata, Bregadoska, Bregadala Baroska, Bregadala Braska, Bregadoska, Bregadala Bragadea, Bregadoska Brata, Loga Braga Sata, Randa Boko Shata, Randa Boko. Shaka Bragadea, Bregadola Barata, Loga Bragadega Barata, Bragadashka, Randa Boko Shaka Bragadea, Loga Bragadea, Laga Bragadea, Randa Boko Sha, Bregadala Bragadea, Laga Bragadea, Bragadashka, Bragadea, Loga Bragadea, Raga Bragadea, Bregadoska, Bregadala Ba, Raga Bragadea, Loga Bragadea, Raga. Raga Bragadea, Laga Bragadea, Bragadoska, Raga Bragadega Barata, Loga Bragadea, Raga Bragadega Barata, Loga Bragadega Barata, Laga Bragadea, Laga Bragadega Barata, Loga Bragadea, Randa Boko Shata, Rada Baka Shata, Rabaka Soja, Bregadola Barata, Loga Bragadea, Laga Bragadea, Laga Bragadega Barata, Loga Bragadea, Laga 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 Bragadea, Raga Bragadea, Raga Bragadea, Loga Bragadea, Raga Bragadea, Laga Bragadea, Barata, Loga Barata, Laga Baranda Shata, Bregadoska, Bragadea. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I declare, may you take steps according to his will. Let me tell you, if you're making this prayer, you may not know how excited am I, 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 I am about you. Taking the right steps at the right time. Taking the right steps. The, the guy said, I will not. Nevertheless, the Bible said later he changed his mind. I don't know whether at times you have been given a number before you are supposed to call. You say, I'm not going to call this person. But finally, you knew you needed to call the person. Has it ever happened to you? And then you eventually called the person and there was a change. However, you didn't want to at first. At times, our lives is tied to the steps we take per time. 
Is somebody following what I'm saying? The steps we take for the time. And why it is important that they are taken according to the will of God is that will determine your success rate or your failure rate. Are you with me now? Yeah. At times, I, I mean, when you hear that a car had an accident, there's been situations where somebody walked into a car and after a while he walks out of the car. He may not even know why he left. He may not know why he left. There's been times where somebody was supposed to pass through this road and he decides to follow another road. And at the end of the day, you heard something happen here. That thing didn't happen this other place. You may not know why it happened. Are you following what I'm saying? Certain things are tied to steps we take the time, especially as it has to do with our decisions and our choices. If Jesus needed prayer to do the will of God, me and you will need much more prayer. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Me and you will need much more prayer. This is the time we start writing a lot of things. We start checking what we would have done and all of that and all of that. After you have finished writing, there must be need for you to pray so that your flesh will go in accordance with the leading of God's spirit. Church, are you with me right now? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are called what? The sons of God. They are not just children of God. They are sons. And when the Bible talked about sons, he's talking about some level of maturity. And the Bible said these people are the ones led by the Spirit of God. So that I take the right step at the right time. So that I walk with the right people at the right time. Is somebody following what I'm saying? So that I'm able to operate at a certain time what I am supposed to do at that time. The guy said, oh, I go. But finally he did not. See how much he would have relied on his strength. I go, that, where is the place? And finally he did not. Another person said, I am not going. Everywhere you are, say at all costs. May I do the will of God. Say finally, may I do the will of God. Touch yourself, so no matter my feelings, no matter how I think, may I do the will of God. Is somebody following what I'm saying right now? So there is need for you to understand this thing called the will of God. There is need for you to understand that your steps that you take per time will actually determine the outcome of the year. Oh, that we are finally in December. It's a culmination of all the steps we took from January down to December. Are you following what I'm saying? Now, imagine that 80% of those steps, they are spirit-inspired and you actually went through those steps according to the will of God. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may, your, may you increase in walking in his will. I declare in the name of Jesus that his thought aligns with your thoughts. I declare in the name of Jesus that you will walk with the right people. You will take the step at the right time. You will be at the right place at the right time. Come on, say, this is my miracle. Say, I am going to walk according to his will. Church, are you with me right now? So there is need for you to have that understanding. Somebody screamed, I'm not going. Nevertheless, he changed his mind. Touch yourself. Say, let me change my mind and do his will. Is somebody following what I'm saying? I'm not going, going to do it. The Holy Spirit tells you to fast. I'm not going to fast. The Holy Spirit tells you to give. I'm not going to give. And then finally, even when I struggled with it, I eventually did it. Church, are you with me right now? I eventually did it. I eventually. Look at the life of of Joseph in the Bible. Do you know it would have been a lot of struggle on his part to be able to resist Potiphar's wife? Church, are you with me right now? And guess what? It took him to the prison where he met the people that introduced him to Pharaoh. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let God himself orchestrate your steps. I declare if you would have taken the wrong steps, may he delay your taking that step. Yeah. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let him quicken you to the right things. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, 
understanding the will of God and taking steps in accordance to his will. Oh, I'm writing. This is what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do this one again. I'm not going to do that one again. I'm not going to do all of that again. Oh, all of those things, they are wonderful. But if prayers are not offered, the spiritual energy needed will not be re released. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Because that step is going to require energy. Are you with me right now? So this is one of the things I want you to know. And this is why I want you to increase your prayer frequency. Now, no matter how difficult you find it to pray, this is the season to pray more. Satan is not on holidays. He's not celebrating Christmas. I hope you're following what I'm saying right now. So this is the time for you to pray. This is the time. The Bible said be vigilant, be sober, because your adversary, the devil, like a roaring lion, goes about seeking for whom to devour. So this is the time for you to make sure that you're in the place of prayer. Are you with me right now? Now, another thing I also like you to know as we are entering into the new year, and more especially when you discover that we have a, 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 a six year, a seven year period, and then we are entering the second year of that, is that in life, pay attention to this, and I want to teach you right now. And I, I, I feel that this is also part of what should be your prayers so that you know exactly the right step to take. Are you with me right now? In life, there are, I mean, two important decisions that one may have to take. You know, uh, 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 I'm not talking about the decision to give your life to Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about the decision as to who to marry and all of that. There are, I mean, when you talk about career and when you talk about life in general, you must understand that life revolves around two things. Ownership, number one. Number two, alignment. I'd like you to note this. Ownership. And number two, alignment. Everything in life, everything called career, success, job, everything is tied to two things. Either ownership or alignment. And why it is important that you identify these things right now is so that you can start knowing the right steps to take. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Everything in life, every, oh, every achievement, every success, everything is tied to either ownership or alignment. Anybody that have succeeded or have failed has was doing two things, either ownership or alignment. Are you with me right now? And why it is important for you to note this is because at times, if you are pursuing ownership, when you are supposed to be pursuing alignment, then your failure may be noticeable. Are you with me right now? And then at times when you are pursuing alignment, when it should be also be full, uh, 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 ownership, you also notice the same thing. Are you with me right now? So there is need for you at this point to know exactly how this thing functions. It is either traceable to ownership or traceable to alignment. Either that either you are there as somebody that owns something or you are among the team that is making things work. Are you with me right now? Now, why it is important for you to understand the working of this is so that you can know the right steps to start taking at the right time. What, the, what somebody that is working in alignment should know is different from somebody that is working in ownership. Are you with me right now? Yeah. I was talking with somebody recently, and then he was telling me how that there are lots of people abroad. Many of them, he said at times, they stay together like this and they are discussing. They have a lot of business ideas. They have a lot of resources to push down here. But their problem is just that there are no sincere persons that they will hand over these things to run. That's the issue. The problem is not even that uh, there are no resources. They have ideas. 
one of them was telling me, he, he told me, he said, if I sell 10 of my cars uh, in, in one of my car shops in Lagos, I can actually buy at least six trucks that I can give to somebody for logistics in Nigeria. He said, but the problem is, who are you going to trust to run the business when you are not there? Now, imagine that somebody here have identified that my own is alignment. And you are already inculcating values that makes for alignment. Are you following what I'm saying? At times, an owner is a risk taker. And then, an alignment person is a risk manager. Are you following what I'm saying right now? And so, when I do not know exactly where I belong, I find it difficult. And so, this, this, I mean, this, 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 they were talking to me. They said, they said, Pastor, do you know, at times we see a lot of people that are in Nigeria. Somebody is working in a bank. They are paying the person 200000 And this thing right now, the person can earn over 600000 700000 If only this person can actually be trusted to run this thing. But the problem is that you see that this person comes in there and all of a sudden he just tells himself, I can own this thing. And I can own this thing, he starts skimming his way. Now this was supposed to be somebody that his work is supposed to be alignment. And now this person is seriously already skimming. Ownership, I, I can, I can do this same thing. And before you know it, he has stepped out and he has had problems. Imagine that it was settled already. And you know one thing about, uh, about alignment is that even the owner at some point has some alignment somewhere. Are you following what I'm saying right now? And so, if you have mastered the act of alignment, you are already preparing yourself because we are entering into a season. You know, you know when this people are talking to me, I, I say, so this night I come to church and I say, there are people that have the billions you are looking for. I say, so this night I'm saying, it's even more real than I thought. Like, these people, they have resources. But the issue is, who are we going to entrust it into? Because by the time this person sees what is flowing, all of a sudden he says, ah, me, I can own the same thing. And the next thing is looking for a way to steal from this person. What if Abinishio, his mindset is that I am training myself to be part of a team player. I'm not training myself to own, but I'm training myself to be part of the people that will make things work. Owners know themselves. Are you following what I'm saying? And so, but at times, the problem with people who are caught into alignment, I'm going to explain this thing more. The problem with people who are caught into alignment is that if care is not taken, you will forget that there is still blessedness in service. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Yes. That's the truth. Do you know that the moon does not have any light? All that the moon does to emit the light you see is to position somewhere close to the sun. And it looks like it has light, but it doesn't. What it does is to align well. There is nobody God gave nothing. But the problem is that you can ignore what you have been given. Is somebody following what I'm saying? I feel that there is need for you at this point. Listen, this may just be the miracle you need. This may just be the miracle you need. This may be the miracle you need. At times, people have blown up things because they don't know exactly where, where exactly is my own area of strength. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you not take the wrong steps. I declare that your accuracy level, say amen, your accuracy level in 2023 will increase. Your accuracy level. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Yeah? Somebody owns Microsoft, but there's a team making Microsoft work. And those team of people are not poor. Somebody owns WhatsApp, but there's a team making it work. That team, they are not poor. 
But if care is not taken in alignment, when you see how WhatsApp is going, you may start how far. You got me? Uh -huh. So if you see how WhatsApp is going, you may go and start how far. Not knowing that your own is to make WhatsApp work and that your greatness is in making it work. I feel that we need to, I mean, teach more of alignment because most persons have missed it because of lack of alignment. Do you know there are people who are driving keke, that's ownership, that can actually do better by alignment? Because while they are driving the keke, they are owners. This is theirs. That's ownership. However, this same person can do much more better if the person knows all that alignment in, entails. And part of what it entails is sincerity. And do you know that it takes a lot of prayers to be sincere? Do you know? Do you know it takes a lot of prayers for you to return change? Everybody is now acting somehow. Are you following what I'm saying? That's why I said that there is need for you to pray that the will of God prevails in your life. I hope you're following what I'm saying now. Like, I, 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 I told myself when I was having this conversation, I said, next year I'm going to have a, a special class where, where I'm just teaching people what it takes to be, to be top-notch in service. I mean, because why this, uh, 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 the, 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 this person I'm telling, I've, I've been to his car shop in Lagos. He told me, he said, Pastor, this is what I'm doing in, 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 in abroad. I, I can do it very well. And I know it's a very serious business in Nigeria. Very serious business in Nigeria. He said, I know somebody that started with one truck. That person has 15 trucks right now. He said, if I call this person and ask him to give, him, give me 100 million, he can give it to me right now. But just by doing so. He said, now, hand over this same business to somebody and ask the person to run it for you. The next thing the person will be thinking is how to own his own. Are you following what I'm saying? Now, imagine that this person has been programmed that my work is to make this thing work and my greatness in it is in its working. Are you following what I'm saying right now? A whole lot that we are going to do. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, you will not take the right steps. You will not, you will not take the wrong steps. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will not take the wrong steps. I declare you are walking in divine alignment. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will take the right steps at the right time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Think of how life is going to look like if we are doing the will of God. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Yeah. Because somebody may be there whose own is to align and the person is seriously pursuing ownership. And the person may not understand why a whole lot of difficulties the person is encountering. Are you following what I'm saying now? Because you know that the books of ownership is not the same books of alignment. The rules are not the same. That's why I told you an owner can take any kind of risk. But the person that is aligning is doing everything possible so that this is not lost because it's kept in my hand. The owner knows I own it. I know how I can get it anyhow. And so he's ready to risk anything. But the one that is, this thing is handed over is doing everything to manage it so that it doesn't spoil in his hands. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Yeah. But do you know the opposite at times becomes the case when you notice some persons who are supposed to align. Right now, there's a way somebody will drive a car, you say, that's not his car. Correct? And if care is not taken, you go and check and discover it's really not his car. However, this person is supposed to be more careful than the owner of the car. 
True? Yeah, because people don't understand the rules of these things. If we are going to feature in the Kairos, everybody must start definition. Definition is part of success. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Everybody must start definition. Definition is part of success. That's why they never taught you any course in school without first defining it. Am I correct? When they defined the course, it was easier for you to understand exactly what this thing is all about. And that's the same thing. That's why if you start, even if you understand that you have the power of ownership, there is also need for you to train yourself in alignment. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Yeah? Even when you know that you have the power of ownership, there is need for you to train yourself in alignment so that you can fit your exactly in this kairos. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for you. You will not miss your steps. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will take the right steps at the right time. Is somebody following what I'm saying right now? Yeah. Many years ago, uh, uh, I think somebody asked uh, somebody and was asking the person, he said, which one do you prefer? Is it to be the head of an ant or to be the leg of an elephant? Did you get that question? Is it to be the head of an ant or to be the leg of an elephant? What's the person trying to say? At times, it is not bad to be the leg. Are you following what I'm saying? And that is the need for you to understand this issue of alignment. Definition is important. Just imagine at this point that you start training yourself to be a good servant. You know it's a training. I mean, if anybody is going to need my services, the person is sure going to be getting, and the person can actually take it to anywhere. That if I say this is 80 Naira, go anywhere, it's 80. You know, it's already a training. Yeah, it's already a training. And I'm trying to tell you that there is also need for you to pray because the, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. I hope you're following what I'm saying. Do you know some people have planned to say the truth finally and they lied. They planned, once I get there, I'll say it. immediately they got there. They didn't even know how they formulated what they said. <laughs> Are you following what I'm saying? That is why prayer is needed, especially at this time. And there is no prayer that is a waste. Every prayer you are praying is doing something. There are some that you may not be using, but it's in your prayer account. Are you following what I'm saying right now? You just continue putting it there. One day it will play a role. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Yeah. A whole lot of people have achieved greatness by alignment. A whole lot of people have achieved greatness by alignment. Because it is alignment that makes the owner tells you this can be done. And you believe it can be done. Look at how it can be done. And then you go there to get it done. And at the end of the day, you have greatness in achieving this same thing. Are you with me right now? Yeah? Church, are you with me right now? So there is need as we are entering into a new year. While you are praying for the will of God for your life, you are also going to pray for you to get your life defined. I am going to be good at this. I'm going to find out what this entails and I'm going to make sure that I apply it. Are you following what I'm saying? What does it take to be an excellent manager? What does it take to be an excellent boss? What does it take to be an excellent this? Are you following what I'm saying right now? And then you have already defined that this is your area of strength and you're going to make sure that you become the best around that area. Because once we get into Kairos time, 
it is now that time of manifestation and the world will always need a man that is prepared are you following what i'm saying right now and this is the time this is the time in the place of prayer as you travel in prayer these are the things you're supposed to be telling god let me become excellent in service let me become excellent in relationship let me become excellent in communication are you following what I'm saying right now? Let me, let me be like that bridge builder. When they are looking for the best here, let me the, be the best there. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Yeah? Look at, I mean, how many resources. What, uh, um, uh, the person I was talking about, what I was talking with, was telling me of, of one of his friends that borrowed money from the bank in America. 800,000 800, US dollars to entrust into somebody's hand here to run a business the person squandered the money ran to Dubai 800,000 US dollars that's almost 1 million US dollars that's somewhere around 500 and something million naira now imagine that that person was training himself initially from onset he has defined that I'm going to be a very powerful manager a powerful servant I'm going to be a very powerful team player and he has studied what it takes to be a team player are you with me right now and so look at how that whole money was squandered 800,000 US dollars and he didn't even know that the person that brought it borrowed it. That's why I told you that owners are risk takers. But the person that he gave it to did not know how to manage it. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe go and check it right now. The, the person he, he's relating with, I'll say, how long will you continue answering this man, Sasa? And what is wrong if your life requires to answer, sir? Even your boss answers somebody, sir. Yeah. How long? Just look that, 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 that. And before you know it. Because, of course, your, your training in alignment will also tell you the type of relationship you need and the type you don't need. Because there are some people whose tendencies change with relationship. Lift your hands, say definition. Come on, say, I've entered into Kairos. Say, my life have moved away from trial and error method. Say, I have entered into definition. Church, are you with me right now? Yeah. Now, these are some of the things that intentionally, intentionally, learn what contentment means. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Understand the difference between going for more and jealousy. Is somebody following what I'm saying? You need to start learning all of that. Are you following what I'm saying? So that you can actually, because the miracle of God at times can be a changed character. The miracle of God at times can be a right choice. The miracle of God at times can just be arriving at a place at the right time. Lift your hands. You will not miss the plan of God for your life. Say my season has come. Say, my time have come. Say it again. Say, my season have come. Say, my time have come. Say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say, I will take the right steps at the right time. I'll be with the right people at the right time. I'll be with the right team at the right time. Are you with me right now? Yeah. So, this is the time. This is the time. That's why I said there is need for you to have a pen and paper around you. As you pray, listen to what he has to say. And as he says, write. Are you with me right now? As you're writing, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm not going to do this. After you have finished writing, those things you have written down, start praying. Because it's not of him that will it, nor of him that run it. Somebody said, I go, and didn't go. Somebody said, I will not, and he eventually went. Are you with me right now? Those things you have written, no matter the conviction that produced them, there's need for you to subject them to prayer. 
Are you with me right now? That's exactly what to be doing right now. Concerning every step I'm going to take, you are speaking in tongues. Concerning the people that are going to walk with me, you are speaking in tongues. Concerning the people I'm going to walk with, you are speaking in tongues. Are you following what I'm saying? Do you know that there are some ideas that are lower? There are some ideas that are higher. These are things. You can have a very smart idea that is still precarious idea. It's still good, but it is lower. Are you following what I'm saying? There's another one that is higher. Will you have the courage to drop a lower idea no matter how good it looks like for what is higher? Are you with me right now? You know, this I'm, sound, I'm saying right now may be sounding so big, but I'm trying to tell you that the era is changing completely. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Completely. And that's why this awareness should be in you. Are you following what I'm saying now? This is why this awareness should be in you. You should be part of a team that is making things work. Are you with me right now? The real owners of the bank are not the people working in the bank. There are people that don't own the bank, but they are in alignment. That 50 naira they collected for electronic transfer, they took part in it. Are you with me right now? That person that reports to the bank every morning is not part of it. He will be paid his 80000 at the end of the month. But that other one, when they increase that electronic transfer to seventy, he will own. He will get more. He doesn't own the bank, but he was part of the team that formed it. And he knows exactly his own. He's not working to own it. He's actually working to make sure this is going on well. And there are people that have been employed in that bank. Those are the people that are really being, being used in that bank. Sorry if you're working in the bank. Now, these are the real people that are being used in that bank. However, will you identify alignment when it is working? Because at times, alignment comes. Some persons are myopic not to notice it. In the name of Jesus, let God open your eyes. Amen. Our season of big things have come. Amen. It is time for us to start taking over. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare nothing will stop you. Amen. You will feature in this Kairos. Be on your feet and open your mouth and begin to pray. Start talking to God concerning your plans, your decision, your choices, your ideas. Kabero nasaka reno shekaba brekolata zate kore balega rotanga balata jeno kabale kotanga balai rebolo shekebre gadoska breko dash kabaronda sa kela brokoja brekataga bragadoska. Brega da la broshke barata Randa boko shaka bragadea Le baroska Brega doshka Brega da la baroska Brega da la baroska Brega da la bakosha Brega da la baroska Brega da la baroska Brega da la bakonda sata Randa boko sha Braga sata Randa boko sha Brega da la bragadea Raba basha kataka Brega doshka Brega da la bragadea Loga Bragadea, Bregadashka, Bregada la Bragadea, Randa Boko Shaka Bragadea, Laga Bragadega Barata, Loga Bragadea, Raga Baroska, Bregada la Baronda, Zaga Bragadeshka, Laga Bragadoshka Barata, Loga Bragadea, Loga Bragadege Bragadea, Raga Baroska Barata, Loga Bragadea, Bregada la Baska, Bregada Gabaro. Randa Boko Shata, Ragata La Bako Shata, Bregata La Bako Sha, Bregata La Bragadea, Rata Boko Shaka Bragadea, Laga Bragadea, Bregatoska, Bregata La Bragadea, Raga Bragadea, Raga Baroska, Raga Bragadea, Laga Bragadega Barata, Loga Bragadea, Raga Bragadoska, Bragata Laga Bragadea, Raga Bragadea, Loga Bragadea. 
Bosca, Raga Braga Dosca, Raga Braga Dea, Raga Braga Dega Bosca, Raga Braga Dega Barata, Raga Barosca Barata, Loga Braga Dea, Raga Braga Dega Barasca. Raga barata, loga barata, raga barata, loga bragadea, laga bragadeska, raga barakataka, raga barakataka, laga barata, loga barata, kabarata, loga barata, raga bragadega barata, loga barata, kabarata, raga bragadea, laga barakataka, raga baragataka barata, loga barakataka barata, loga barata. Raga braga deha, raga braga deha, raga braga deha baroska, raga braga deha, loga braga deska barata, loga barata, raga braga deha, raga braga deha, raga braga deka baroska, raga braga deha, raga braga deha, raga braga deka baroska, raga braga deha, loga barata, loga barata, randa baka shata, preka doska, preka dala baroska, preka dala braka. Raga braga dea, laga braga dea, raga barata, laga baranda, laga barata, laga braga dea, laga braga dega, randa bokosha, prega daga barahaya. In the name of Jesus, open your hand and begin to pray. Nothing dies in my hands. Oh, pray that prayer. Anything that is handed over to me shall multiply. Nothing dies in my hands. Ronda bake shota. It is our time. It is our season. Nothing dies in your hands. Kretola ba, jenorata, randa bokosha, bregadala, bregososha, bregadaya, randa bokosha, bregadala baha, raga bragadeya, bregadala bragadeya, loga bragadeya, randa bokosha, bregadala ba, raga bragadeya, bregadaya, raga bragadeya, raga bragadeya, loga bragadega barosha, 